What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have the case of the missing lifeguard. Things in Hawkins are basically about to get crazy again because now we got people missing. We got murders going on. Billy's going psycho. He's being controlled by something to take people. The mind flayer, baby. Yeah, the mind Somebody flayer. told us that he was he was flayed. He's a flayed. Yeah, so he's a flayed, man. That means that the mind flayer got him, basically. So I guess Will was a flayed at he some point. He got Bobby flayed. <laughs> he got Bobby flayed. So I'm excited to get into this because we need more mystery, for sure. So like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. Without further ado, let's go. Let's go. The case of the missing lifeguard. Beer, gore, language, and more. <laughs> That's not it's cool, bro. <laughs> not cool at oh, all, shit. L. This is insane. Max, yeah. Yeah. Wait, sorry. Why are you wrong? What could I Wait, do wrong? Do I have to go through this again? I see them. What are they doing? Eating. <laughs> <laughs> Some Doritos. Oh, stood hey. up. Is that Hopper hey! and the Hawaiian Topper? <laughs> when I say three inches, three! Do you not? Jeez, <laughs> yeah. I thought that, uh... Mike's not here. Max wanted to have a sleepover. He's like, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Your parents know about? Yep. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's, hey, I like his style really cool. right now, though. Did you need something? No, no. I'll, I'll leave. I'll just let you. I'll leave. She means so much to Hopper. Elle's <laughs> <laughs> female friend. But if you're her, you just gotta take her word for it. She could be making stuff up. She really could, but I don't know. Maybe there's a time where she'll need to. You know, maybe this time. <laughs> I'm an idiot. He's gonna be looking crazy. Of exactly. Course. Yeah. He'd, she might have to lie and be like, "He's great," and then she'll have to go on her own mission. He's good. He was with a girl. Don't worry about it. found him. Oh, What's he God. doing? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's strange. Don't be overshadowed. Talking to someone. What if he can Just see her because he's like possessed? That's what I'm thinking and she's going to start freaking out. And then scream and open a portal. You're right. Oh. He looks the same. What happened? Is she gonna just like tell her and they're gonna have to go, you know? That's gonna be cool to spy on people though, because we're gonna find out some stuff. Hopefully. The good stuff. We're gonna spy on Mr. Clark and find him with Joyce, and then we're gonna have to break that up. Mr. Clark deserves a fair shot. Let's go. This this already started out like a straight banger, right? Yeah, like what's she gonna have to do with Billy? Like yeah. <laughs> situation similar to maybe like Will's? I don't know. Maybe. That's funny. Will's basically... Fed that's kind of sweet though because he's trying to get his little innocence back in a way. And he's fed up of them talking about girls. Yeah. Mm. He'll be the late bloomer though. He'll be humping around town at like 18. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look who it is. We need to talk. Yeah, we do. What are you doing? Joyce, hello. Just watch. She just comes in. <laughs> okay, you're freaking me out. You slipped on this, remember? Yeah. Yeah, it fell in the night. It lost its magnetism. Oh, did it? And the same exact thing happened at my house the day before. Huh. So I went and saw Scott. Scott? Scott Clark. <laughs> Your child science teacher? He's pretty brilliant, actually. And I asked him, how is this happening? And he built this magnetic field <laughs> using an AC transformer and plugging it into a solenoid. I just want to get this exactly right, okay? Like you took a lot of time over there. You mm -hmm. stand me up. Right. <laughs> no phone call, no apology, because you had to go to Scott Clark's house. Yeah. <laughs> you've outdone yourself, Joyce. You really have. No, you've outdone oh, yourself. Oh, come on, <laughs> Scott, you're not even listening to me. Scott was able to demagnetize some of the magnets. Thanks <laughs> that a large scale magnetic field could be built. He has to be if you're at his house, Ellie. What if it's them? To build a machine like this, you need resources. 
I'm a little busy Magnus, right I'll now. Just stop I'm thinking maybe we can meet up there, like tonight, like seven o'clock. You know, of course, unless something comes up, which, you know, it will. No, <laughs> after everything that's happened, this is no joke. I think you got scared, and now, I mean, that would be too much, right, Joyce? He's kind you of know, talking to himself. I know. Too. That would be too much, wouldn't it, Joyce? She left your ass. Yeah, she gotta go. You got seven. <laughs> <Is> it, ah, <laughs> Joyce! <laughs> Joyce! He said, What the hell are you doing? I need to borrow these. No, you're not going back there. <laughs> Joyce, you're not going back there. Son of a <laughs> bitch! <laughs> I love them together. Why can't they just meet together? You don't believe me? I believe you saw some super weird stuff, totally. When Billy is alone with a girl, they make like really crazy noises. They scream? <laughs> yeah, but like happy screams. Happy screams? What is happy screams? It's like, I'm just gonna lend you my mom's car smell. Like <laughs> His car's not here. You really wanna do this? So he sends her, so that's why she's like a little weird about it. Yeah, cause she knows there's something demonic going on now. Why don't we get the feeling we're gonna find all kinds of wrong in here? <laughs> He was burning up. Max. Oh. Ice. It's just ice. Either that or he Probably did too many damn curls. Like right. Oh, go yeah. Catch ice bath. So she just thought it was an ice bath. Okay. No, it's definitely because he's the mind flayer or whatever the hell. Or a flayed. He's a flavor flayed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, shoot. <gasps> Not the bloody whistle. You sure about this? You really are your mother's son, you know that? What's that supposed to mean? You worry too much. <laughs> huh. I got this, okay? So, what exactly are we looking at here? Is this a Driscoll lady stuff? No, no, see, that's the thing. Oh, I mean, gosh. Listen, I thought she was crazy too, but... She told me Johnson killed Kennedy. <laughs> but it turns out <laughs> she's not alone. It's pesticides. Cleaning supplies, diesel fuel. I mean, there's gotta be more. Man, you guys just aren't looking if y'all don't see it. We'll decide what's a real story and what's not. Okay. Damn right. Bye bye, Nancy. Get out of here. Nancy. Get out of here with your boring stories. So Nancy's gonna have to go independent for sure. Yeah, they're gonna have to do something off the record. <laughs> like to try the peanut butter chocolate swirl please no why not sorry he can't help you he's busy busy with what spycraft i know they're like mm -hmm. <laughs> also look for earpieces camo duffel bags that sort of thing right okay duffel bags he's gonna see someone that matches that description perfectly i give you the advice you follow through not the other way around all right pea brain <laughs> 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 Tell him, Steve. He had to have some dominance in that yeah, relationship. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting too big for his britches over there. <laughs> but no, wait. That's not thunder. <laughs> it's a horde of juju zombies. Sir Mike, your action. What should I do? Attack? Okay, I attack oh, with so my not flail. Into it I know. Maybe we should just call them. We can do that? I think so. Yeah, but what would we say? We'll say nothing! The Kuazar tribe still need your help. <laughs> all right. We all live on as heroes in the memories of the Kalamar. Victory. Oh. Let's finish for real. Yeah. How much longer is the camp? Just forget it, Mike. No, you want to keep playing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. We'll just call the girls afterwards. I said forget it, Mike, okay? I'm going home. Well, that doesn't totally rock, bro. I know, but... What I mean, I feel do? everybody. Oh, I agree with everybody you right now. Everyone has a girlfriend but him now. Listen, I said I was sorry, all right? Well, kind of. So you could swap spit with some stupid girl? Elle's not stupid. It's not my fault you don't like girls. Oh. Yes, I, I did. It really did. I mean, that's how it goes, Will. though, man. Sometimes you just Will. grow up. Will, come on! Why do you have to ride off in the rain, though? Let us know, man. Who's in the wrong? What do you guys think? I mean, I think the boys are just growing up. Yeah, it's just growing pain. Like, if your imagination doesn't think that's fun anymore, what are you supposed to do about that? You know? I used to play with action figures, but... Excuse me? No one in the water until 30 minutes after the last strike. <laughs> don't try and argue with me. You want to get electrocuted, go climb a tree. Yeah, we don't care. We're not here to swim. <laughs> we found this. Oh, yeah, that's Heather's. I'll get it back to her. We could give it back to her. That's a monotone. What is this? You girls want a reward or something? Yeah, I don't even know. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. We're just good Samaritans. <laughs> there she goes. 
That's all she needs is the picture. Heather, do you think you can find her? We're probably gonna see her do this through some crazy situations. I know. She might do it in a fish tank one day. Hop in a damn goldfish bowl and do it. What do you see? That's like insidious, right? Door. The red door? Right. The red door. I hope Billy doesn't take Miss Wheeler. And then Mr. Wheeler comes in there looking like damn Rambo. Mm. So give me back my damn wife. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> She saw her. What happened? L. I'm not even sure what that meant. <laughs> to that be meant honest. You go get Billy back and you go fight him. You talking about Ice Ice Billy? Yeah. Ice Ice Billy. Yeah, I don't know what happened to her. She got sucked into the damn underworld, didn't she? Mm. He needs an army for something. The Mind Flayer. He needs an army for something. Because they're going to invade Hawkins and take over. Yes, I'm gonna... Anybody home? Come in peace. No. Whoa. Oh. Somebody's watching, huh? I mean, obviously. They're underground, I bet. You right? You swallow a mosquito? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. Target acquired. Where? 10 o'clock. <laughs> Give me that. Shit. <laughs> Back. That person looks so He's sus. What if they're just delivering something? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> the silver cat feeds when blue meets yellow in the west. A trip to China sounds nice if you tread lightly. I can't believe that's Uma Thurman's tread daughter. Lightly. Who's that? Just kill Bill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Delivery for you. <sighs> Thank you. Hmm. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Because a lynx is a cat, right? Mm hmm Yes, so that's the cat. first clue right there. So Let's go. Cat. Dominoes. You did too. No, I did yes, not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Oh. <laughs> he's in. Trip to China sounds nice. Imperial Panda. Trip to China sounds nice. If you tread lightly. What are you doing? I cracked the code. What if she's wrong as oh, hell? Wait, it's what not if she's just making it up? I was about to say, wouldn't that be more like nine o'clock? Wouldn't it be like when it meets in the west? Oh, 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 oh. oh, there it is! Careful, There's laws my damn rabies! Better get that thing out of here. You don't want it eating the tires. Oh, harassing the girl secretary. <laughs> Come on! What's this? Poof! It's stupid to get fired over. No one's going to fire us. You know, he's kind of wrong, though, because I wouldn't be letting some dude fine. try you like that. <laughs> Give me the keys. We need to get fired for that? that. Come on. Oh, we went anyways. <laughs> All the cavities have been filled. Secret it entrance. It's over. Because they're under the mall now, not there, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm losing my mind. I swear to God, I thought it was one of those things. Mm -hmm. You know that I'm keeping a close eye on things, right? Yeah. That you Aww. and your family feel safe. I want you to feel like this can still be your home. Man, you gotta stay. You are Hawkins. Right, basically. After Sarah, I have to get the hell out of that place, you know? <laughs> Damn. What's that? Wait here. Even Jonathan has a girlfriend now. You're telling me Castle Byers is waterproof? Oh, yeah. I know he's a little wet, but geez, that's pretty cool. There's a tarp. The picture ain't even wet on the wall. Something is coming. Something hungry for blood. What is it? What if it's the 
Demogorgon. They look so tiny. Will you action? Fireball! Fireball! Uh, he misses me a little bit. That's what Now he's like... Will the thing. Will the unexperienced, yeah. She's or or something. She's an 80 year old woman and it's pouring. Where else would she be? Maybe she got the shotgun. Nancy. She's nice. So? Is this Driscoll? Seriously? Is this Driscoll? Do you think just because you're nice, you like to be the victim of a home break in? No, but Nancy. if you have that cat clock, From the Hawkins your Post. house has ghosts in it. 300%. Or spirits, or demons, or Dracula. Is this Driscoll? Ah! Ah! <laughs> time. It ate all the fertilizer. It's probably gonna be like. Oh, she's eating. So they're like zombs. Is this Driscoll? Oh, she got the name. See, I told you. Yeah. Nine forty-five. Look for yeah, I'm sorry. I needed to say never eat soggy waffles. They're with that whistling guy. Ten o'clock. That's great. Get your bat out, buddy. Hey, what's in there? It's just more boxes. Let me check it out. No, I'm still looking. Let me see. Uh -oh. Hang on. They're gonna activate the Russians. Holding hands. Old Steve would be like, what Russians? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't have Russians in World War II. You know how Steve loves that. They didn't have Russians. Did they? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're involved for sure. Talking chief of police, come out with your hands up. You hear me? Hands up! <gasps> <gasps> Who is it? Uh uh. That was the rushing guy. So you whooped them and left? I'm like, I swear, there was two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, there's about eight of them. <laughs> I got jumped. Is this it? Oh, so does she think she's under her house? She looks crazy. Hell, she looks like a superhero right there. Good thing her dad's chief of police because they are being e hard right now. Mm -hmm. This is her house. That's that guy. Heather's house. There's something wrong? We just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Why wouldn't it be okay? Where is she? Oh. I'm sorry. Where is who? Well, they're a little burnt. I'm sorry. <gasps> Heather! This is so my sister, Maxine. Too, huh? And I'm sorry, I did not quite catch your name. Elle. Mm. Now, what is it you were saying, Elle? You were looking for somebody? <laughs> feeling just fine right now, aren't you, Heather? I'm feeling so much better. Mm -mm. Do your girls want a cookie? Mm-hmm. They're fresh out of the oven. Give me your bro. I feel like she was served them raisins. Oh. Yeah. Raisin brand. They're 15% more healthy. But Maxine knows something's wrong with him. Hell yeah, look at him. He's never polite. So they're working on taking over the family over here. He's trying to just take them all? Cause that guy's the newspaper man, the dad. No. Whoa! He's back. Oh, yes, darling. <laughs> you okay, mommy? What the hell? Yes, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna go upstairs and lie down for a bit. That's not the first time they've had the conversation about the wine. Right. Get it? <gasps> Get it? Call man, what the hell? Y'all. I'm really sorry about this, Daddy, but it'll all be over soon. I promise. You know, I don't really know what the heck they're doing, but they're attacking. Right. And uh, I, this sucks to say, but I kind of like Billy better like that. Yeah, because 
Well, heck yeah. I mean, why? Okay, so the reason you like Billy better like that is because at least now you can understand him because he was a straight goon before. Right, he like, was just like hell? very like aggressive. Everything he did well, was... Well, he was so obnoxious. I don't really know anyone like that. Right, so... I wouldn't know anyone like that. That's just I, that's just scary me. that they would pick... Um, Because I guess they the guy, the Mind Flayer, he picked someone who was, you know, vulnerable to... I'd that. say. So he's a perfect, you know, candidate. He's the perfect candidate to recruit these people because he's is low-key charming the pants off that family and that girl came from a house you know a, a wine drinking mom a overbearing dad so she probably has her issues too so yeah she we know her dad kinda... sucks because the way he talks to nancy yeah right that's what i'm saying so um yeah man great episode i think that i understand they're young there's no shot i don't care if it's the 40s or the 80s you ain't talking to my girl like that we'd be gone we'd be in jail we'd be gone uh <laughs> I, I think they need to stop treating nancy like that she needs to stand up for herself i don't like that at all uh especially the main in front of her like with the rats and all that man forget all that that's just right. that's too childish. that's just rude that's some, it's just tv at the end of the day too but sweet for all that in my head i like to think that like in real life people are more people grown-ups have more like grace than that but in reality man they probably don't so uh right. that part really sucks to see but i don't know what they're doing to the people in this house man i don't know why they chose to hit this guy with a bottle and and basically put him to sleep with a chemical well that obviously the mind flayer is telling him to do that yeah but why like i i told you they're harvesting people for something you know they that's what that's my theory they're harvesting people like you know when billy was staring at l and he saw l closing the portal and it was like that that guy's mad about that yeah i think maybe he's trying to harvest enough energy to open it up as big as he did yeah it seems like he definitely wants to open the portal for yeah, sure Yeah, and take over potentially well it seems like so far he's just been possessing people but this was the first time we've seen him be like aggressive it seemed like the goal wasn't to possess the goal was to incapacitate right but i don't know i i think he's building the he's just irritated that l did that because you could see when he when billy was looking at l that he saw all the stuff l did so he was yeah. like i don't like that yeah that flashback great episode yeah it really sucks because the boys are growing up man but you know you can't stay a kid forever it's like i was saying maturity just comes with time it's not something it's one day you wake up and your brain just doesn't process information the same so yeah but poor will he got a whole like year missing from his life basically uh, yeah. so these boys move on because you know they had to deal with like looking for will they built relationships looking for will yeah and that's kind of where they're at with that but you would think though after such a traumatic experience like seeing such a real life circumstance that will got to partake in that you wouldn't be interested in dungeons and dragons anymore it seems like like for example like it kind of like it would take your innocence away mm -hmm. you know like if you're a little kid watching rated r movies you don't want to start watching you know arthur again right but he you know will didn't get that we'll we'll miss out on that year of like development so if i was will i would just be like yeah i got a girl she's in the upside down she's great. <laughs> yeah i met her <laughs> she's hotter than farrah fawcett or whatever y'all said <laughs> um yeah what else what do we miss i i don't know hopper like, and joyce are yeah just, they're being strange man which which strange. is crazy because joyce just gets like torn up by a by a russian guy drip you said he was russian I, he didn't talk so how am i supposed to know <laughs> but anyways anyways he gets beat up and just like drove off on and well if he's a white guy and if he looks like this then he's russian if he has like a grit i don't know if you guys have realized but in tv the bad guy 100 percent of the time is usually russian i know that don't make sense i said 100 percent of the time is usually but 95 percent of the time is russian they you know who they always portray the russian people to look like mr orange yeah they do on reservoir dogs they all like with the sharp nose feature yeah and they always have like automatic weapons and tattoos <laughs> yeah. and they're always just so serious and it looks like they definitely don't have kids <laughs> right like all they do is a hundred 24 7 365 is the russian activity like if they i would have, have never life. met a russian i would just assume that every russian was just a hardcore damn security guard that's just what i would assume <laughs> yeah because they they do make them come off that <laughs> yeah, way on do, tv they? sorry about that russia <laughs> yeah i think it, the russian people should demand better from yeah. the american media like jesus christ I know. <laughs> not every single one of you guys are involved in heavy crime and trying to like infiltrate the united states and destroy Show me all just trying to live jesus and eat borscht sometimes you just want to go live in hawkins because it's chill <laughs> anyway so i'm really enjoying the city man i'm enjoying the hawkins lifestyle i like i said i think the thing that really stood out to me in this episode obviously was the fact that l is becoming really good friends with uh mad max which i think is great which is I so think cute it's the way so they started adorable. the episode with hopper just like able to let his guard down and stick his toes up yeah, you know what i'm saying i love second, that so yeah, yeah that it was, was really good for cool. him to get some peace even if it was just for a night yeah i yeah. don't have any daughters but i mean i could imagine right like jesus you're always on edge especially if they have a boyfriend yeah because your daughter's young and you definitely have the power to say you can't have this boyfriend you're a kid leave him alone you have that right 
But like that's not good. It's like hard to do that to your and kid. And also, like, if gonna... you want to say that too, Ellen um, Hopper's relationship is also because you know with kids that you like meet later on, like the eleven and up, they could easily be like, "You're not my dad," and run off. You're not my dad. You know what I'm saying? So he has yeah, to tread exactly, lightly on yeah, that exactly. a little bit, but he has to also be smart. I like to think of Elle as like a damn deer. She just walks <laughs> up in your yard, and she's like, you know, if you're lucky enough, maybe she'll let you pet. This her is her face then, always. And then she could choose to just walk the hell off. So <laughs> you got to tread lightly, I guess. <laughs> Right. All right, man. I need another episode. I just don't have my Stranger Things fix in. Jeez. Right. All right, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon for the full uncut. I had to say it twice because the Patreon is so nice over there. It we sure added is. a new picture to our background so it doesn't look as like skimpy as it did. <laughs> <Skimpy. laughs> Why? Because your nipples were out. Yeah, your boy had his his, <laughs> his diameters out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I had my circumferences out. All right, y'all ready? Chat the foe. The sauna the test. The sauna test. Let's go. Sorry, I did not quite catch your name. Right, that's so weird for her. Because she went there and she was asking for help. Aw. So the whole time she was in that house, she's probably subconsciously hey, screaming for help. There's nothing to worry about anymore, okay? Doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? Heather. Go back, go what back. What about Billy? What about him? He seemed wrong. Wrong is kind of like his default, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's nice to know he's not a murderer because that would have totally sucked. <laughs> Who is that? See, this is where you can't just hang out with Mike all the time. It's Diana. <laughs> oh, Doris, we need you to stay calm for us, okay? Stay calm. Oh, yeah, to go back. Oh, Okay, you're gonna so hide it in the papers. You two want to explain to me what in the name of Jesus just happened here? Hold on, babe. I gotta tell you something that I think because you know I think Billy's picked that guy, so they do hide it in the papers because that guy is gonna now be like half and half the dad. Yeah, because he's gonna be the mouthpiece. Oh sh! That's crazy, dude. I, I mean, like obviously I got what you're saying, but it really just hit me. So they, they're about to start infiltrating like the media, right? Probably the I'm government. I'm sitting here wondering how the hell the rat. What if there's like a mayor that's like freaking. Upside down mayor. Dude. Dude, chills. Bro. These things got this show this show better go crazy. Hey, that's a good that's a good catch, Mom. I guess the rats are just another way of like playing. Well maybe they use the rats to get to the people or something. Hi Daddy. Heather, you're grounded. Heather, you don't have to do this. You can stop this. There is no stopping it, Daddy. He's thinking, damn, she's lost to the cold. Right, she's dating, oh, what is his name, Charles oh, Manson? Yeah, oh, Billy Manson. Heather, please, Heather! Try not to move. Heather! Man, they're bait. Oh, Jesus Christ. So that's the good old MS? That's that mother <laughs> mind player, boys. <laughs> That is gonna haunt me. I couldn't tell if he was pumping them full of something or sucking something out of them. But either way, that's a place I don't wanna be. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Man, so he came to life basically. He's sitting there like. He don't just hang out in the clouds no more. But they, I wish I could rewind that because where they were, where they were, where was that? It was under somewhere, but it was near where someone was. I was about to say, weren't they in their basement? This is the worst season? That's what people said. People are crazy. What's wrong with y'all? The sauna test. It's really hard to stay in the sauna. Hey, careful. She's in her stories. I'm just thinking it's charming how Joyce is smart. She left the toes out because he's burning up. Here, here. here. <laughs> Sorry. We just gotta throw that pot away <laughs> now. A while you've been <clears throat> drifting in and out. What's the last thing you remember? Some thug attacked me. Hey, you need to rest. No, fine. <laughs> Where are my clothes? Uh, it... She wanted to look at Hopper's flopper. <laughs> <laughs> they were soaked. Oh. Did you recognize him? Who? The thug. Well, why is he running? <laughs> you know, why didn't we find anything down there? Let's ask That's him. That's what Jonathan does. He slinks around. <laughs> what is that? It's license plate. What are the dashes? Well, they're blanks. <laughs> I think you should stick to sales. Can you run a search or something? I just think you have to lower your expectations. Oh, that was what he's going to wear on the date, and she was judging him. <laughs> Max, do you copy? This is a code red. Shut up. 
She turned it off. Oh, you've got to be kidding when me. When the going gets tough, boys, I never move on. I'm sleeping. Go away. Miss Spike, do not hang up. Something oh. happened. Something bad. Our very lives can be at stake. Not to them, I'm though, hurry. right? They're playing them, right? It was Steve and Dustin say? that the stuff happened to. Try Dustin again. He's not answering. So try him again. Oh, Dustin, no, Will felt something. I remember do now. Do you copy? I repeat, this is a code red. Look at that hat. You see the hat he was wearing? That key card opens the door, but unfortunately, the Russian with this key card also has a massive gun. Whatever's in this room, <laughs> whatever's see in those right boxes, <laughs> they really don't want anybody finding it. I can just take him out. Take who out? The Russian card. What? I sneak up behind him, I knock him out, and I take his key card. It's easy. Did you not hear the part about the massive gun? Yes, Dustin, I did. <laughs> So well, please tell me this and be honest. One, a fight. Okay, that was one time. Twice, was... Jonathan, you're prior. Listen, that doesn't count. <laughs> Why wouldn't it count? Because it looks like he beat the shit out of you. Yeah. So you're a fat oh, for two. Oh, God. That just might work. I'll be back, Ninja. Where's their boss? <laughs> I think she is the boss, right? Dude. <laughs> no, but oh, it's funny because she's such a contrast from Nancy. Oh. Which one are you into, Steve? He don't like her. He done said it. But he, I, I know he's gonna end up with. He her. was holding her hand. I ain't never held a girl's hand on a horn. <laughs> like what the heck? Nancy? What's the band-aid for, Tom? Jonathan, I've worked at this paper for 25 years. Now, we're a small town paper, but we have something the big papers don't have. No. Man, you didn't that's know super that, coincidential. Did you? In fact, in my entire professional career, I've never dealt with anything quite like it. If you fire me, yeah, I'm gonna punch fired. you for they're yelling fired. at me. I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you in the head. Both of you. Y'all lost the two best reporters in Hawkins. I don't think don't it was even anything know. at first. I mean, I think I just didn't That was the point, believe. though. <laughs> yeah. The first time I felt it was at Day of the Dead. Yesterday outside Castle Byers. What does it feel like? It's almost it's like, you know when you drop on a roller coaster? Sure. Yeah. No. It's like <laughs> everything inside your body is just sinking all at once. But this is worse. Your body, it goes cold and, and you can't breathe. I felt it before. Whenever he was close. Whenever who was close? The Mind Flayer. Oh, wow! Oh, you said with some bad I advice before you bounced. Skate. I know, but what if he never left? What if we locked him out here with us? Mm. A part of him attached itself to me. <laughs> Whoa. My mom got it out of me. And 11 closed the gate. He's still out there. But he got the trapped. that was still in me. What if it's still in our world? In Hawkins? He we is can't the brain. take any chances. Right. We need to assume the worst. The mind flare is back. He'd want to attach himself to someone again. A new host. How can you tell oh, if oh, someone oh. is a host? At least it blew over, though. Hey, is he in? Yes, uh, he's right. busy at the moment, but excuse me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tony, hold on. Hey, Let hold me, on. Uh, Jim! I know, I know you're busy. I'm gonna make this fast, I promise. Some kind of problem? Yeah, you might say that. Um, I'm looking for the name of a guy. Okay. He was here the other day, rides a motorcycle. Is this ringing any bells? <laughs> I you know, the Russian so. concussion. Really? Because <laughs> it was just two days ago. This is right before I saw you. Oh, you know what? Maintenance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name. Oh, he works oh, for Lynx. Uh, Gary or John or something. You know, Candace will have his name on file. You mean with a lot of plumbers, Lair? Excuse me? This guy, when I saw him, he was coming out of your office. Okay, mm. well, I don't remember that. I shake a lot of hands, you know? I don't know, it was a ghost town when he pulled up. Do you remember when I caught you passed out in the hideaway with all that powder all over oh, your nose? You remember? Jim, come oh, on now. Yeah. I can't recall. Did you have a prescription for those? Well, how about drinking on duty? <laughs> <laughs> the <Yeah>. dirty laundry. <laughs> we have some that real makes it complicated fun to stay stories on about that. One call to Tom at the post. And oh, you're done, buddy. I thought he was about to say one call, that's all. We need to call a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Oh, and please. Don't give me that call, dead daughter all. sob story. Cause I just don't care. Oh, punch him. Yeah, now, punch him. If you don't mind, I really am rather busy. Our parade director. Oh, 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 my nose! Who is he? It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, 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 or hammer fist for what folks. Police? Oh. <laughs> that is a nice ring you got there, Larry. Are you insane? Huh? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, 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 ah, beacon, beacon. What is that even doing? Oh, it's a cigar cutter. Oh, yeah, he did use that. But you know him. He gives me things sometimes. What kind of things? Money, presents, ah, gifts. What is this, Santa Claus? It's a 
Starcourt. He works for Starcourt. I was gonna say, just do it so it wasn't. Why do they want this land? I don't know! You have records of these purchases? These, uh, That's interesting. Why do they want this? Oh, the I land? just bumped his head. <laughs> Just a little boo-boo right Maybe that's like the ideal place to do it. To open the portal. Yeah. Maybe it's it's it. bullshit. Oh, is this funny to you? No. No, it's just kind of incredible. Bro, no, it's the real 80s. things, Nancy. You things that you don't care about. House. Only because you don't have to. You didn't realize I lived in a bubble. Well, you do. Right. Humiliating. Yeah, the real world sucks. Deal with it like the rest of us. Oh. Well, then, I guess we just don't understand each other anymore. Yeah, I guess not. We're Aww. incompatible. No. Light day. Aww. Star Court Mall. The complete blueprints. Not bad. This is us, Scoops. And this is where we want to get. Air ducts. Exactly. I know we always bring Turns up prison break. This Jesus. secret room right. needs air just like any old room. And these Robin Schofield. Air ducts <laughs> lead all the way here. Good thing y'all got little Dustin. Dustin can't fit in that. It's <laughs> a grown man. <laughs> what you talking about? Super tight. Outfit. Trust me. No color. He doesn't have remember? color. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Oh. He's perfect oh, he's, for the uh, job. Yeah, he's got some disease. Uh, it's crito. Um. Uh uh. You mean Gumby? I'm pretty sure it's Gumbo. Dave, just shut up and push me. The green okay. guy is Gumby. <laughs> You call it yeah. gumbo. <laughs> Not my feet, dumbass. Push my ass. What? Touch my butt. I don't care. Push her. Don't hurt with my legs. I'm not playing. I have terrible footing. Get out. Here you go. I'm gonna just uh -uh. shove you. Ready? I'm not going in there. One, two. Shit. Work. One more time. So is the whole all here. Oh, use her. Free ice cream for a wife, little girl. You can get in there. Yeah, Lucas's little know. sister. It looks pretty normal to me. Normal? How many times have you seen him with the shirt on? You have to report yeah. the duty. Yeah. Okay, so we just wait until he gets activated. No. Seriously? Just trust me on this one. They need to get like a mirror and shine some light on his ass to see if he switches. Oh, they're gonna put him in the sauna. I already know. Get him into here. Hey, shut the door! Hey, come on, kid! <laughs> And look, the controls are right here. It's perfect. Look at hot enough. 220 degrees. Right, and then the thing that comes out will be trapped in there with Billy. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You don't know if you can fit? Oh, I can fit. I just don't know if I want to. Are you Amen. claustrophobic? <laughs> I don't have phobias. Okay, well, what's the problem? The problem is I still haven't heard what's in this for Erica. Right. This is the route you're going to take. You know what this half-baked plan of yours sounds like to me? <laughs> Child endangerment. We'll be in radio contact with you the whole time. Uh, 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 uh. Child endangerment. <laughs> He's not Erica. wrong. Hi. Uh, we think these Russians want to do harm to our country. Patriotic. I just got the chills. Oh, yeah, from this float. Not your speech. You know what I love most about this country? Capitalism. Do you know what capitalism is? Yeah. yeah. It means this is a free market system, which means people get paid for their services depending <laughs> on how valuable their contributions are. Very, very valuable to Extremely. you Extremely. <laughs> so, you want my help? And I'm talking free ice cream for life. Right, life. that's what I'm saying. Get them, girl. I've got a Kona day. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this. If I want sprinkles, that. you better add them on. Hey, no complaint. Did you shoot that fella yourself? It's definitely real. <laughs> Nice spot, Lair. <laughs> Your wallpaper's a little sus. Yeah, and a save files. All right, so what exactly are we looking at? Land deeds, transfers of property. In, In your, your bedroom. bedroom. These people, Jim, they're bad news. So what, this is blackmail? Protection. Is he about to rubber band gun him? Yeah. Hey, what is it? Hess Farm, Henry's Place, Bullocks. Well, what's in those um, boxes, you know? I want you to forget about sales. I want you to come work for me at the Hawkins PD. I what said that junk too. Larry! Hey! No, Larry. Where do you think you're going, pal? That was like a really loud attempt. <laughs> Nancy. He said they're having a wholesome moment. Got a blast. <laughs> Maybe Jonathan's right. To be honest, I wasn't thinking about him. That's a weird necklace. That's exactly what I was about to say. That necklace is with awfully this, strange. And then with this feminine talk right here. You're I just not wanna, like, like that. Maybe touch the wrong <laughs> <laughs> you know. Always happens. <laughs> just Satan just wondering. It's a strange necklace. I honestly don't know where you get it from. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were swapped in the hospital. Tell you the truth. Oh, this is the best Karen moment we've seen. I get it from you. Well, wherever you get it from, I'm proud of you. 
<laughs> yes, those shitheads. And if you believe in this story, look at me and Nancy. Finish it. I love the like great advice. Your mom's really proud and she believes in you, but she might get your daughter so chopped why up. Not? Right. Mom's a little naive. Or she might kill your mom's crush. Right. Why not? Finish it. Finish it, Nancy. Oh. It was a really cool campaign. And Mike and I, we should have never. I don't did care that. anymore, Lucas. I really don't. I mean, hear him out. Yeah. Bigger things to worry about now. Oh. This should hold on. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Will's growing up. Yeah. You don't need your sympathy, Lucas. Lucas is trying to be a good friend. Oh, oh my God. Breakers. Whoa, that thing is super creepy. I think this will work. Right, buddy? She's like, we're still broken up. <laughs> this is my new hey, boyfriend. Hey, I just wanted to say. have a big stupid head. You know when I said Nana was sick? She wasn't. I lied. I know. Hopper, <laughs> she went all crazy on me, Telling me I'm spending way too much time with you. Oh my God, now, Did yeah, she was fine. That's yeah, totally against the rules. I make my own rules. Oh. Right there? Yeah. That Where outfit is iconic because that's I'm the one, coming. the Fortnite Just, Hold on a second. Oh, is it? Yes, Shit. I've seen it before. It's killed me. God, I hope it's not you. I really hope it's not you. He's like, oh, it's me, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Aviator, really over here. Erica, do you copy? Mm-hmm, I copy. You nerds in position <laughs> or what? Yeah, we're in position again. It's all quiet here, so you've got the green light. <laughs> Can we maybe not call it that? See you on the other side, nerds. <laughs> You're gonna get that little girl caught up in some stuff. I hope we find out what's in those boxes. Come on, Erica. She goes to that. Oh my god, baby, class. what happened? Give me a phone. Baby. Get me a goddamn phone! Uh, all right, nerds. <laughs> I'm there. Do you, do you see anything? Yeah, I see those boring boxes you're so excited about. Any cards? If I could see them, they'd be pretty shit trapped. <laughs> Wouldn't they? Thank you for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Life. Yeah, she oh, better get all the damn oh, wizards. The USS Butterscotches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tried that butterscotch thing from McDonald's a couple months ago. That thing, my stomach. That thing was sweeter than sweet, wasn't it? I, I got sick. Pool's closed. Hey, did you hear me? Pool is closed. That was well executed. Mm -hmm. Who's there? I see flyers for that parade everywhere, don't you? Come and find me. I find you, and it is your funeral. Oh. Kick him in. Hey, find you. Hi. Your outfit does look cool, though. Oh. It's war now. Oh, gosh. To it. You know those times you should have treated your sister better? <laughs> Absolutely. This would be one of them. I think she was admitted last night. Name and relation? Nancy Driscoll, her granddaughter. <laughs> she didn't believe her. <laughs> Good old Nancy Driscoll. I think she I think she knew she was lying. Like when you asked for a cup of water at McDonald's. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You didn't do that when you was a kid. Heck no. You just gonna open that like that? That's definitely not Chinese food. I'd be scared doing hell it. Uh, maybe you guys should, you know, stand back. No. Step back. No. Seriously. I love no. Special Steve. Mm -hmm. If you die, I die. <laughs> Whatever, Henderson. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Green spot is that? Is that just me or did the room move? Booby traps. You know what? Let's just grab that and go. Which one do I press, Erica? Open door! <laughs> I'm pressing open door! Door. door! She's gonna just press the damn button, button, button nerd. <laughs> Don't open the door! Oh. That's like the yeah, time machine or something. Well, they're going deep under there. <laughs> oh, wow. The rat, the rat died, remember? <laughs> had a heart attack and died. Look at that heart rate. Oh, man. Oh, Nancy, you better leave. 
believe or they're gonna accuse you. Max! Let me out of here! Let me out! Open the door. He's scaring me. <laughs> Maybe scary if he wasn't trapped in that room, maybe. <laughs> he breaks the window, he ain't getting out of that. He tries to crawl out, I'm gonna hit him in his head. Now my fault is not my fault. Oh, he's gonna manipulate her. Max, I promise you it's not my fault. Or is he for real? I've done things, Max, really. He made me do it. Who made you do it? God, I know, it's like a shadow. Like the giant the shadow. What did he make you do? It's not my fault, okay, Max, please. Do you believe him or don't? Be okay. No, I mean, I don't think he meant to kill anyone. I think he's telling the truth, but he's trying to manipulate her. What the hell? Right, but is it the guy doing what a good job? Yup. You just have to talk to us, okay? You have to talk to us. Oh, that's what you're saying. I believe you, buddy. I feel him. He's activated. Max, get away from the door. What? Get away from the door! Oh. Let me out, you bitch! Let me out! Uh oh. You sound like Ghostface. Bah! <laughs> Max, Good shot, Lucas. <laughs> Lucas put them pebbles on his head. I know. Billy Flay. <laughs> Are we about to lose Billy, dude? Him to have a comeback arc. He can't get out, can he? No way. No way. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's been working out. Look. Dang. Oh, she dodged it. Oh, no. Do not hurt her. No. Come on, Mike. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Gangsta Mike. <laughs> What's she gonna do with him? She's about to put him in timeout. <laughs> Dang. Basically, she did. That's why episode seven was important last season. But he's just outside now. <laughs> right. Remember you were telling me your daddy to make you go out the house? <laughs> he's like, get outside. <laughs> That's what they did to Billy. That's not good. That's a no that's a problem for later. We'll meet again, playing. She could have killed me. Yes, but not us. Is that Janet? Oh, there's a lot of people in there. Yeah, so that's exactly what they're doing. They're making an army. They're trying to take over the town. Y'all have a lot of people already. So this is under the mall? <laughs> Stranger Things gets crazier once again, it's man. It's scary. Yeah, that jump was... I mean, it wasn't like really scary, you know? It was TV. scary. But yeah, man, it was definitely scary. People said that the show is going to get scarier. No spoilers or nothing, wrong. but that, they're definitely upping it a little bit, right? Yeah. Billy continues to be a son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, he's a problem, right? Right, but that that guy, I don't know if the mind flayer, flayer is that good at manipulating or if that's actually Billy. No, that, that, that was the mind flayer. It was oh, the mind flayer, yeah. He was active because um, he was in danger, and when he's in danger, he ain't he just to does whatever. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to give up the control, so... The Mind Flayer is nuts, whoever that... I still think it's Brenner behind it, but... Right, and he's obviously, like, an intelligent creature. So, I mean, the origin of him is going to be very interesting. I'll mm -hmm. put it that way. Because we haven't got, like, the origin of anything yet. So, we got plopped in right in the middle of this timeline. I mean, I guess basically at the beginning because Will, but there was a lot going on before that. Mm -hmm. What do you think happens next, baby? I think that they, they're just going to have to do something with Billy. Like, they have to because... 
he's the one that's like building the army essentially right he's like the human form to manipulate yeah. him and heather now i guess other right and i'm hoping they can save billy i mean i know he's like a crappy person but but the on. other people seem zombed out whereas those two seem like they're in control like they might like there's maybe there's like an army and then there's like i don't know generals or like what do you call them lieutenants yeah there's like different positions and right stuff. like you know how there's the wits and then there's the white walkers maybe yeah. billy and heather are white walkers right just like they're like soldiers and then they're right generals. yeah 100 percent yeah and i thought it was funny how the little girl finally makes it through the thing and then they pull out this crazy looking substance i guess that's what? the same substance they was looking at that was that uh, started those tornadoes yeah and um they got caught <laughs> basically they went in the room and it was like a like a track room below and we didn't get to see where they went so i'm really interested to know how that goes because maybe the next episode will start out like with that storyline because right. that's the one that i'm really anticipating the most you know how it's like russian people doing this what if it's just russian people trying to defeat america from within didn't they say like there's a lot of like stuff against against like the soviet union at the time in the 80s or something yeah so what if it was like a weapon that's always a possibility i mean they could definitely be infiltrating right you know or they could be or the u.s government could be like selling itself out on behalf right. of the Russians. Or that you know? too. I mean, that or that too. too. Right. Maybe they're they're selling it. Maybe they're selling the technology and this little shadow government or whatever is, you know, undercutting what's good for the American people in that sense. So I don't know. We I need mean, to see just more we have to find out. But these last two episodes I would say, like, you know, most of them were having good feelings about relationships and stuff, but these ones were just like detective. Yeah. You just were on it the whole time you're figuring stuff out. And most of that had to do because Ellen and Max got together. Right. So it wasn't about kissing anymore. It was about, you know, the business. But can we address that necklace? Oh, what that, was that? That, that I mean, come on, guys. What is that? I, I don't know, man. That a was, vagina necklace? That's exactly that's what exactly that was. That's exactly what it was. Why did they put that on that lady's neck <laughs> for that empowerment scene? I don't understand. That was really funny, though. I thought the necklace was unique, <laughs> you know, to say the least. Very unique. Very interesting. At the end of the day, man, we need to rescue Billy, you know? Yeah. You know, I mean, he's a crappy guy, but we can't just let him get chopped up by the mind player like that right maybe and maybe after that he'll be different or something he'll be yeah. like dude i've seen it all i've killed people i was wondering where the story was gonna go if the mind player left his body and then was just trapped in that room with him right but it turns out he was just too strong he just got out right so maybe he's getting stronger like with the arm like the more they built like right yeah and you know i'm wondering how that magnetic stuff is gonna come into because i know they're having to harvest a lot of power or something I'm just not really understanding that part. Well, they're harvesting the power probably because they're basically you need an ex you need so much energy to condense at such a small point that you like rip open the fabric of space and time because you have to actually physically rip it open to get to like beyond it. Right. So mm -hmm. in order to get to the upside side down, they need to like pinpoint extremely large amounts of energy, so much energy that it can recreate almost like a black hole in a sense, you know, mm -hmm. a black hole like tears open the space time continuum yeah. in a way. So they're basically doing that and it's they're using electromagnetism and it's just affecting everything electrical yeah in a sense i don't know i'm not a damn well, scientist the, you, know you know what so. though the mind flayer he is way too smart honestly because for him to get a hold of billy because like he knows about that and then for billy's billy to get a hold of heather because heather's dad's in the news like to infiltrate i like that theory the most that's the theory like well you started but that was the most exciting part is you were saying how he chose like he's being strategic because now he has like a gateway to the media and then yeah. maybe you could infiltrate I, government yeah, i think he's gonna get larry larry's right. definitely subject to that you can tell well yeah for sure yeah, yeah larry, he's he's completely he has all the the dang stuff like the secrets. he's got a lot over his yeah. head yeah basically so i think that something could happen to larry and then they're on their own again where they they don't have anyone they can tell oh yeah exactly so then they're fighting it themselves well hopefully nancy keeps pushing to get the truth uncovered you know um i really like that i like that uh storyline for her character a lot mm -hmm. i actually do like that and i think that a lot can go with that and maybe she'll end up being like a like a hero of hawkins mm -hmm. like a reporter or something so i be hope good. so because that's kind of nancy's arc she doesn't want to be just like the lady living in hawkins like her mom like she doesn't want to be her mom basically yeah, yeah just so, living the boring so you kind of and you kind of want that because if she is with steve she feels like that would have been her life you with know steve yeah with like that's what she was saying with steve that would have been her life the same life her parents have but with jonathan that's a little judgy that's <laughs> like, what Jesus, she said he's in high school but that's what she said man might grow up and be the damn astronaut 
Astronaut Steve. Astronaut Steve. No, but she was. She said that. Uh, remember, she thought that after she was reading his paper about uh, the <laughs> basketball game, <laughs> World yeah. War Two. Yeah. The the comparison. She was like, you know. Um, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> It's cool that they got Lucas's sister involved. Um, maybe it, it's cool. Is that definitely cool? child endangerment? But I'm actually um, more stressed out. She's involved. Like if right, she wasn't there, it'd be a whole different. Feeling. Right, but it's cute because we always see Erica, and she's always giving us the attitude. But it's well, nice I feel bad to see because her. that little girl, she's so underdeveloped in her mind. Like she, all she cares about is ice cream. And right, that's she's sad. Like, that's she's like, like our kid. Pay up. Uh, you're <laughs> you right. Know, like, what if someone's like, "Hey, hey, no one." <laughs> Can you like, sneak okay. through that? He'll be like, "Free ice cream for life." You said, "Don't tell my dad." <laughs> yeah, just don't tell my dad. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that. But it's cute. But that's why it's cute, and it that's is, why I yeah. like it. It's because it's like she's totally being paid by ice cream, and she's gonna do it. She'll get into any situation. She to be said. Paid she by said. She said. Just push the damn button, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That was my favorite part. Of it's the whole funny episode. how every time there's like a situation with technology, Dustin's arguing with someone. Right. Like yeah. with Jonathan, that was so funny. Before. And he's actually really good at technology. <laughs> yeah. and no one listens to him. Yeah. <laughs> they don't give him a yeah. shot. They're like, whatever, Dustin. This John's too funny, man. I, uh, I don't like that Dustin's not with his boys, though. You know, I was thinking that because obviously. But I like that he's with Steve. Though. I was thinking so much about how Will needs. It's weird because, like, you know, obviously he went crazy and tore down Castle Byers and all that. And it's sad, but maybe that's just his way of coping with the of fact that he does on. have to realize. But, yeah, that he has to move on. But, I, th I, you know, I don't really know how I feel about him hanging out with Steve so much, but I kind of like it. Yeah. I kind of feel like it's good for him. Because Dustin doesn't have, like, a father figure or, like, a, you know, he he's an only child as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because everyone else has siblings. That's good for him. He's also, like, the last friend that came in. Mm -hmm. So it's good for him to have, like. Well, and uh, I also think it's important. Post, I, I also think it'll be important to show that, like, he doesn't have to constantly. It's not. Well, I mean, like, they're friends. So if they take a break from each other, if he goes and hangs out with Steve for a little bit, it's okay. Yeah. It's not like you're not part of the clique anymore. Like, it's okay. You're just yeah. hanging out with Steve. I, I cool. like that too. But it's it's just cute how they've kind of all delved into their own things, I guess. Like, yeah. you just watch them grow up, I guess. It's kind of sad in a way, but it is cute. Yeah. It just shows. It's just. It's just showing how time goes by fast, man. You know, because right. it really does. Things change and things evolve and it just goes by fast, you know. The good but, old days are always just right right behind you. During that fight, though, with Elle and Billy, I kind of am confused by it because it didn't really dis it didn't display how how strong the mind player is through Billy. You're so damn caught up on that. <laughs> because, because like, what the hell? like Guys, like, a year ago, we were watching. We were like, well, the thing about the X-Men characters is that it's just hard to know how strong they are. Like, yeah, the because, psychic ones. because she threw him out the window and he just got up and ran. Basically, like, we need, like, power gauges. Like, we need the little bars in the corner that show Yeah, off. so I can see the hit points Critical you take. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. No. Like, it goes down, you know. But no. I know what you mean. Like, Elle, Elle held her own. You know, she held her own. Right, but, at but the same my time, thing is, Billy's not even the strongest thing. So, for Elle to kind of, like... Because my thing is, I think Elle's all-powerful. I really do. And that's another thing I was wondering is, is your physical <laughs> is your physical form, like, the limits of your physicality? So, Billy was extremely strong because, you know, like, you know, Billy does cocaine, obviously. So, <laughs> and works right, out a and lot. He and he was playing basketball. Just but um, and waits all day. Elle, on the other hand, like she's psychic, but she's also like a little girl. So yeah, is it that she's out of practice that her psychic abilities aren't what they maybe could be, or is it that she's a little girl? Do you get what I'm saying? Right. I think that like, is she developmentally stunned right. because that of her age? episode though that I think that they were showing us, like the the episode seven, the one that everyone was like, oh, glad you got past that one. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like that one was to show like if she was to use her powers every day, just how strong they could be, like number eight. Mm -hmm. like she just or maybe number eight's powers were differently but it was kind of she was like move this thing and l moved it or whatever but it was kind of like if she was training like that every day using her psychic abilities maybe well, she could it almost seems like the more you give in to like you know the darkness quote unquote maybe the more your powers can come through because it seemed like her message to l the whole entire episode was hey you can you can accomplish all this you can be really powerful, but you have to be angry. Mm -hmm. Like it comes from your yes. anger. And she yes. obviously was angry and was all caught up on revenge. So And she wasn't able to take down Billy until he was about to go for Mike. So maybe maybe Elle's whole thing, maybe they're gonna do the whole thing where like where Elle's coming from, she she draws her power from a place of like love. And so maybe it'll be stronger, but right. it's easier. But it's easier if you're drawing it from a place of like hatred and anger mm -hmm. because that's easy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, that's kind of 
you know we're kind of that's the kind of vibe I mean, did that sound corny enough <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no was no. that good that was good yeah, that was good because it because the minute um billy went for mike l was able to just like get up and you know knock him out the door through brick even yeah so that's a good fight we needed that i mean it was a good fight but all it did was prove that billy is the harvester of the mind flayer mm -hmm. which they thought he was just gonna crawl out of there yeah like in the sauna so i don't know how else well when we it. first met billy i was thinking like where do we go from here like he's got to get better like his character can't really get worse and it, then it gets worse but it only, but it only got worse because if he would have been like a human and <laughs> would have became worse it'd have been borderline ridiculous but right. he was able to actually become worse because he was possessed so that was pretty interesting right so um yeah. i'm assuming at some point we're going to be exercising billy again so oh, trying to God. get the demons out yeah but i don't think the thing about him is the thing about uh will getting that out was they had to drug him up and you know he's a little boy but like billy's building this army so mm -hmm. it's gonna be kind of hard to get to him well i don't know maybe you just have to shoot him put him down I don't know. <laughs> you know i don't know call in the national guard i guess i don't know but Elle's gonna Elle's gonna have that moment where she has that breakthrough right just like in every like superhero show especially in x-men where she's like able to move a stadium or something that's why they were showing her wonder woman because Elle's about to channel her inner wonder woman yeah skills. something like that yeah uh guys loving loving it you guys were saying that season three was one of the weaker seasons uh i call baloney on that because i think this <laughs> season's absolutely going crazy you know there is something special about like pilot seasons or pilot episodes and like the first seasons of things because it's so new but i think this show is doing a really good job as it goes on yeah i really like the characters and i think that like all the little things in the show even like with hopper wearing the same sweater that he was going to go on the date with joyce yeah. and then her calling him out on it little things like that make this show so charming yeah and, and really even like bringing up the moments. blackmail that hopper oh, hat yeah, yeah. when larry was calling hopper and then out, the way he just sits back he's just like okay larry like, <laughs> like it's like, such a small town yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> like those pills you were taking those weren't and they were basically <laughs> sitting there pull, like bringing up stuff they couldn't really prove because it's not like they're on camera doing it it's i know just, it was the 80s geez. they just had to like people's words just meant more back then i guess mm. i don't know <laughs> i don't know man thank you guys so much for hanging out with us like comment subscribe hit us a picture on all that good stuff all right Peace.